What up boys and welcome back to another video. So I uploaded a video not too long ago about the emerald chest opening and I mentioned that I had a ton of uh, like the green bags to open up as well but it, it was only interesting for me to make a video on it if you guys wanted to see it. And it was a massive response. A lot of people wanted me to open up the, uh, the green bags as well. And the reason why I was wondering about it is because the blue ones, like the blue quest item that gives you uh, the emerald chests, they have like a 100% chance of giving you a blue item. And if you open them up on a twink, you can get some really nice uh, level 20 twink items. However, the green ones, they just give you like a guaranteed green item. And yeah, sure, they got a chance of giving you a blue item, but you make way more gold off the blue ones. But I have a shit ton. Like, there's a massive opening on this one. Uh, so uh, we're pretty much just going to open up Ludopraiser and then we're going to start and see if we get something cool. Before we do so though, uh, I do want to mention that you guys can still get the 0 to 10 million gold guide. It's basically like step-by-step -step gold guide, super easy to follow along. It gets updated for every new expansion it comes out and it teaches you all the ways that I personally use to make multiple gold caps. So make sure you use the code Shadowlands on the link down below in the description and pinned comment and you will get it for 50% off. So, uh, we're just gonna jump right into it, open up these bags, and Ludopraiser will pretty much just let us know whenever we get something cool. So, as I said, I, I'm, I open up these really fast, because uh, the majority of them will be dog shit. And also keep in mind that you guys might want to keep a bit more of the items than I do, like... Uh, I have a lot of transmog up, so in order for me to post something like this that comes out of these bags, I, I need to know that it sells. It either needs to have a super high value or a super good uh, like sell rate or a combination of both. Otherwise, it's not worth my time because I already have like 2,007, 2,800 transmog items up on the auction house. But there is a couple of green items that comes out of these bags that do always sell. So hopefully we can get some of those. You can always get lucky. Uh, right now, though, so far, it's not looking that good. We're at 15,000 gold market value right now. But with the amount of green items that's in my bags, that's not really that much to brag about. It really isn't. So we'll see. I'll also show you how I handle the quest because it takes a long time. There we go. I use Leatrix, though. That's the uh, first thing you guys are going to ask me about. It's how I handle the quest, and there's a bunch of add-ons doing the same thing, but I use Leatrix to like just auto hand in the quests, and so it does everything for you. And then I got myself a macro to uh, accept the quest from the bags as well. You can also see that there's a yellow coin on the icon of all the items. Uh, <coughs> it's not called scrap, so. I mark the items, only gonna mark them one time and the add-on will recall them and it just automatically vendors them when I uh, when I go to a vendor. So it's it's a must. If you're dealing with transmog farming, like you should do yourself a favor and get it ASAP. Alright. So uh, nothing really badass from that one. Let's uh go ahead and vendor the trash. Uh, this tune is relatively new, so I haven't marked uh, everything that I want to trash. There's going to be... Uh, it's not like everything that's left right now is items that I'm actually going to throw up on the auction house. No. This is Overlord. Look at the sell rate on this one. 0 0.06, which is really good. But, like, they used to be, like, a thousand gold pants. Right now, they suck. This chest, this Overlord chest that goes with legs. Look, I've sold it. Like 50 days ago, sold it for 15 gold. Now it's starting to go up in price right now. I know that these are super easy to get from these though. So right now, together with these gloves, I'm not going to bother with posting them. But this is something that I would post all day. Just because the sell rate is so damn good that it's worth posting. Like considering that it's a transmog item, the sell rate is good. 0 0.03 likes is also not bad. Like, a lot of people would post those. All right, and then I got myself a macro, which looks like uh, like this. This show tooltip does pretty much nothing on this one. But just slash use and then the name of the quest item. So pretty much you can just spam that one to pick up the quest. And then, 
Liatrix will automatically deliver in the quests. So it's two clicks, but you don't have to like move your mouse and click the uh, the quest item. Everything is semi-automated. Um, there might be a way to do it even faster that I'm not aware of, but uh, this is the fastest way that I've figured out doing it. And it, it's not like you do this every single day, right? It's very rare that I deliver in a bunch of items like this. So I don't really mind if it takes a while. And normally I've just been doing these blue ones, which gives you like a guaranteed blue item with a chance of epic. And I usually open up like a hundred at a time of those. While in order to do these green bags, it should be a bigger opening because the odds of getting something good is very slim compared to the blue ones. You're pretty much guaranteed to make uh, to make gold if you open up 100 blue ones. But with the green ones, no, nah, I just open up over 100, way above 100, and didn't get shit. But let's just hand in these last ones. I'm going to have to do this in a two times. I don't have enough bag space right now to even get all of these in. But I believe it's going to be sick. We're going to get something out of value. I don't, I've don't. i done these green bags two times before, I believe. Um, I don't remember what the best item I got out of them was, though. But I honestly think if you guys are new to gold farming or just new to transmog farming, I think these are a great way to build up the auction house because there is a lot of items of interest with like the actual decent sell rate. So... Just to like build up the auction house, it's a great way to build up the auction house. The blue bags and the green bags. So I would recommend all of you guys to just get a tune, take him to Blasted Lands, kill the elites, and uh, just open up the bags every now and then. Not the fastest way to get transmog because there's, you, you, it's not like you can force spawn the rare elites and kill them that fast. But uh, it's, it's pretty nice. It doesn't take that long. Obviously, getting 100 blue ones and uh, like three, 400 green ones takes a while, but uh, you can easily get like 50 okay green transmog items from doing a, a bag opening like this. I'm just picky. But in the start, you shouldn't be too picky. You want to get the ball rolling. You, you need, like, it's more of a, like, a motivational thing. That's what most people don't get. Like, why would you care to post a... Uh, a green item that's going to sell for 250 gold. Like, 250 gold is jack shit. That is very true. But you wouldn't throw away Shadowlands materials that would sell for 250 gold, right? So if the green item, green transmog, has a decent sell rate, you know it's going to sell uh, relatively fast. There's no way to throw it out. because It just gives you motivation. There's nothing more heartbreaking than spending a lot of time posting a lot of transmog up on the auction house and you're like super excited to log into the game and see what you've sold and you haven't sold jack shit so just seeing a list and seeing like oh shit i actually sold 25 green items today or 25 transmog items uh, even though it's not like an insane amount of gold it definitely helps your motivation to just keep on going like yeah dude transmogs actually sell and you just keep on going keep on going all right, we're closing in on something now. Because I have to deliver in these quests. These openings are roughly as long as the uh, the battered junk boxes that I do. How many more quest items? 69 quest items left. And oh boy, this is going to be it. We got eight minutes opening up these shit bags. Couple more left now. Will I have enough space? Six no, I'm gonna I need space for like twenty more, which I don't have. God. What if WoW implemented something like hand in all? If that was a thing. I guess you do pick up a quest though, so that would be kind of itself. Or like a buy max is also cool. Like if you have like time walking batches and you wanna by reputation using them, there's just a button that says buy max and we'll buy the maximum amount that you can. It could be an add-on that does that. Maybe fucking Leatrix does that and I don't even know about it. But hey, Blizzard implement that shit. Okay, 43 left. 
I need some backspace though. Gotta keep some backspace to keep the uh, items that's gonna sell for millions of gold. Come on. Right, let's open up some bags right now. And see. No buenos, man. There's some like jungle hats. Like head pieces that are good. These prices are too bad. I play an arch in the one which doesn't help because there's a lot of my viewers playing the same realm as me. There's like a 25 IQ move because they they think it's good because I play on it. So it just uh, results in a million people like that it's only interesting gold farming playing on the same realm and a lot of those people i see when i farm these are also farming these so uh the supply of these green items are massive which drags the price down so you guys are probably gonna have a better time than me selling these value wise at least like these legs revenant leggings they're not bad 0 0.03 dude like 0 0.03 and 0 0.04 for transmog items, it's, it's decent, dude. It's a good sell rate. Nothing, dude. And you guys told me to open up these, man. God damn. It feels like I'm opening up junk boxes looking for something worth millions. Because it has the same result. I'm not getting anything. I guess there's still hope. Yeah, it's not looking good. Oh my god. How many was it? Like 300 or was it 400? I don't even remember. And nothing, dude. Market value at 63k on that many green items. Oof. Alright, let's get rid of these. I think all of these are also marked, besides from the Revenant legs. But uh, I'm not even going to keep those with the current price. God damn. Okay. Let's grab the last ones. We got to see it through, man. It's so typical that there's going to be something good in one of the last boxes. Okay, 27 left, 26. But it's now turned into like a 13 minute long video. If you guys are still watching, you guys are fucking MVPs. In fact, you should actually type MVP in the comment section if you're still watching. Imagine watching this fucking clown open up green bags filled with the heartbreaks. For like 15 minutes. Takes a lot of patience. Appreciate that. You guys are suffering with me. Or you guys are like sitting there. Smiling, smirking, laughing at me. For getting jack shit. Okay, there's eight left. It feels like I should stick to the blue ones, man. <laughs> this is not going anywhere. Alright. Two left. God damn. Let's see. Can't be that bad, can it? There has to be something. Actually, some of the green items dropping from the rare elites are way better than this. Higher value. Uh, same sell rate. Some of the items even higher sell rate. Dude, you gotta be fucking with me, man. Come on. Oh my god. Yo, thanks, boys, for telling me to open up the green ones. This is uh, 15 minutes that I will never get back in life. <laughs> However, I do appreciate it that you guys are watching the videos, though. So thank you so much for that. It was an absolutely horrible opening. But hey, you guys asked. I did it. I delivered. I did my end. So now it's time for you guys to do your end and press the thumbs up, the like button. But that's it for today's video. So thank you all so much. And I will see you all.
back in on tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.